what's up baby bottles long time no see as you can see here my girlfriend is washing my hair we're using suave shampoo and conditioner you're going to be needing for this video or if you're doing a tutorial with me during the video you're going to be needing bw2 and i believe 40 volume developer I got at least three little packets of those because the beauty supply store I went to didn't have the container. And I'm going to show you guys the 40 volume developer that I had. You can also use 30 if you want, but I think 40 works better than 30. But you need gloves on as well because handling with this bleach does burn your skin. Yeah, I burn my skin still with the gloves on, but make sure you have, you know, the right safety stuff. And it should come out to this type of consistency once you're done mixing. And then I parted my hair, well, the wig hair, and I started to use my perm brush, well, that's what I call it, and I started to distribute it in the back section first. I try to get as close to the tracks as I can so it won't be as much, you know, black. I want, you know, to kind of get the whole head so the color can pop, if you know what I'm saying. You know, you can kind of rub it through too to help distribute the, the developer and BW2 bleach powder mix. You know, you might want to add some more on the other parts that you think you've missed and kind of distribute it through with your fingers, with gloves on, of course, because like I said, this stuff does burn your skin. I started noticing the color changing instantly, actually. You're supposed to be leaving this on for like 20, 30 minutes. 30 minutes if you think, you know, you're not really... You didn't, you don't really see the results, you know, because you can kind of see the color changing as soon as you leave it on there for like three minutes. Once I was done distributing the bleach into the hair, I let it sit for 30 minutes. Now I'm rinsing out the bleach before I go in with my suave shampoo and conditioner. Once you rinse out all of the bleach, I go in with my shampoo. I actually sat it down in the sink so I can wash the roots as well as the length of the hair. You just rake through. I, I actually was washing this for like a good like 30, 40 minutes. Like it was a little while I was washing this because I wanted to make sure, you know, I washed it good, got all the bleach and stuff out, you know. So, and I also washed it too because, you know, I wanted the curls to, you know, kind of be the same. Overall, at the end, the curls weren't, you know, the same, but they were still, you know, popping kind of you know but the curls you know kind of wasn't as what's it called voluminous yeah i'm adding the conditioner onto the wig and i'm going to start raking through with the conditioner trying to distribute the conditioner everywhere in the wig well in the hair i try to get the scalp as much as possible because it's easier to get to the strands of hair if that makes sense Now I'm rinsing out everything. Make sure you rinse out very thoroughly and good. 
get all the conditioner out of the wig and wring it out good as well. On this part, I apply the cap on before I put the glue on my head. Cause I was kinda trying to rush doing this, but I added four layers of glue onto my hairline. Let me know down in the comments if you want a more detailed wig installation video. I blow dry that for not too long, probably like five or six minutes just so it can be really dry for when I cut off the access cap. And get as close as to that glue line as possible so there won't be no snags on the cap. Get any rat tail comb or you know any pointy thing to kind of smooth out the edges of the cap and you blow dry that as well once you apply another two or three layers of glue onto that line Now I kind of skip the part where I actually do apply the wig onto my head only because I, my phone died. But you know, you do see me putting the wig on. But that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Love you guys. Bye.